All right, so you want that kick to be jumping over your opponent's head or you want the slice server to be slipping out of his reach, but it's just not happening. You're not getting enough spin on your serve. I totally get it. It's a huge weapon. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to systematically add more and more spin to your serve so you can get that unfair advantage that you're looking for. All right, let's get started. All right, since we're dealing with the kick serve and the slice serve here, we gotta make sure the toss is in the right spot. And there's a good chance that your toss might not be lending itself towards hitting with more spin. So for a kick serve, if you're a right-hander, we gotta make sure that toss is at about 12 o'clock, slightly into the court, and that'll allow you to hit with a lot of kick. Okay, if you're hitting a slice serve, we wanna make sure that toss is out more towards 12.45 or one o'clock, slightly into the court, and that we're gonna be at about full extension. And if you got that, let's go to step two. Now, as we mentioned in all the other videos, the contact point is huge. And for the kick serve, I'll bet you, if you're not getting enough kick on it, it's because you're actually reaching up too high and you're not allowing the racket to accelerate past the ball, which is what creates the spin. So you gotta let that ball drop a little bit more so your contact point's a little bit lower, still into the court, but a little bit lower close to your head. And that'll allow you to really accelerate up past the ball and create that kick. On the slice, again, we wanna make sure that we're out towards 1245, full extension, and slightly into the court. And once you get that, let's go to step three. All right, step three is a big one, and it's the throwing mechanics, okay? We talked about having elite throwing mechanics, and it's huge for developing racket head speed, which is ultimately what produces a ton of spin on the ball. So we gotta make sure that you're throwing the ball more like Tom Brady or Brett Favre, and less like my sister, Linda. I love you, Linda, <laughs> but you can't throw a ball. Okay, so you gotta make sure that your throwing mechanics are there. So go back to the Elite Throwing Mechanics video, check it out, there's a step-by-step -step process for developing a really smooth, effortlessly powerful throwing motion. And once you get that, let's go to the next step. All right, the next thing we wanna look at if we wanna develop more spin on your serve is we gotta make sure that the path of the racket is correct. Okay, specifically, and we talk about this a lot in the Simple Serve 2.0, so if you want an in-depth kind of review of what the racket is doing, go check out the kicker and the dicer. But for now, as we're on the court together, remember that the kick serve, you're really gonna be swinging up and out, almost like you're throwing a tomahawk over the side fence, and on a slice serve, you're gonna kind of more come around the ball, almost like you're cupping the ball, or like you're peeling a grape. So we gotta make sure the swing path is correct so that all of the great power that we've created by having the toss in the right place, having the contact point correct, and having great throwing mechanics really comes through and imparts the right spin on the ball. And once you got that, let's go to the last step. All right, this one's the X factor when it comes to creating a ton of spin on the ball, and it's hold your coil longer. Okay, a lot of people will do a great job in getting in their coil. They'll have their knees bent, they'll have their hips rotated away from the court, but as they get ready to hit the ball, they start coming out of their coil too soon, and that actually leaks power. What we wanna do is we wanna keep that tension as long as we can so that as we release it, as we come up out of our legs, as we uncoil our, our body, that all of that power is being released um, right into the ball. So hold your coil longer. And once you can do that, you're gonna be ripping the ball with a ton of spin. And if you got that, let's go to another problem that you might be having. 